Welcome to QuickBooks 2010. This video will provide you with a demonstration of how QuickBooks works and will give you an overall view of the program itself. Although most small business owners are worried about revenue, running a business involves a lot of other tasks. And depending on the type of business you are running, you will need to invoice customers, record payments from customers, pay your own bills to outside vendors, manage inventory, and analyze your financial data to see where you need to focus your next efforts. QuickBooks is a tool you can use to automate the tasks you're already performing as a business owner or to set up a new business. In a few moments, you will be seeing a demonstration of how QuickBooks works and get an overall view of the program. But first, Let's go over some of the basic features that you'll be seeing in the demonstration. When you're working in QuickBooks, you'll spend most of your time using a form, a list, or a register. Since these are so basic to QuickBooks, we're going to spend a few minutes introducing them. You record most of your daily business transactions on a QuickBooks form, which looks just like a paper form. Up here, under Vendor, Enter Bills, Here's an example of the form you use when you want to record a bill from and write a check to one of your vendors. The form is very intuitive. You already know how to fill out a form, but after you provide the information on a QuickBooks form, QuickBooks does the accounting for you in the background. For example, when you record a bill and then write a check using the pay bills window to pay for the business expense, QuickBooks enters transactions in your Accounts Payable Register to show the expense you incurred and the payment you made. Accounts Payable is the money owed by your business to vendors. It also records the check in your checking account, keeping your records up to date and providing a running balance of what you owe at any time. The list is another basic QuickBooks feature. You fill out most QuickBooks forms by selecting entries from a list. In this enter bill form, the information that is pulled when you enter this vendor, all of this information, the terms due, the vendor information, the account, the customer job field, all of this is pre-filled based from information it is pulling from lists. QuickBooks has lists where you can store information about customers, vendors, employees, items, or services you sell, and so on. Lists save you time and help you enter information consistently and correctly. When you're filling out an invoice form and you select a customer name from the customer job list, QuickBooks not only fills in the name but also fills in the address, the payment terms, and the customer sales tax based on the information previously entered about that customer. Here's an example of the customers and jobs list in the customer center. QuickBooks lets you complete a variety of activities from list using the menu buttons located at the top of each list. For example, to fill out an invoice for a customer, first select the customer from the customer and jobs list and then choose invoices from the new transactions menu. In addition to forms and lists, you'll also work with registers in QuickBooks. Just as you use your paper checkbook register to see a record of all the transactions in your checking account, checks you've written, other withdrawals you've made from your account, and deposits, a QuickBooks register contains a record of all the activity in one account. Almost every QuickBooks account has its own register. Let's look at an example of a register for an accounts receivable account. This register shows information about invoices written to customers, the date of the invoice, the date that it's due, the name of the customer and the amount. It also shows payments you've received against your invoices. The right column of the register gives you a running balance of all your accounts receivable, so you always know how much you're owed. So there you go. That is our introduction to QuickBooks and their basic forms, lists, and registers that they use.
In subsequent videos, we're going to learn about getting around in QuickBooks and learn about the accounting that you'll need to know and how to move between different company files.